In this video, I want to show you the custom pivot feature within Next and show you how you can use this tool to uh, transform your components uh, or your selected components uh, using a lot of different types of controls. So let's just jump right into it. So uh, the custom pivot tool can actually be enabled within any of the transform tools by clicking the custom pivot button here, or you can actually press insert or hold down the D key. So here I just press the insert and it puts me right into the tool and you notice the manipulator uh, changes to this custom manipulator uh, or this unique manipulator that's part of the custom pivot tool. So right off the bat you can actually just click and drag any of the manipulator handles. You can see here I'm just dragging on any of them and I can place it anywhere in 3D space. If I left click you'll see that it snaps to that component. You'll notice it only snapped along the actual axis that I had active. So here it's uh, you know, if I pull it all the way over here along the z-axis and, and along the x-axis, if I click again, you'll see that axis that's snapping is only the x-axis and not the z-axis. If I want uh, the z-axis as well, I just activate that and uh, align that. And again, it's not uh, snapping with the y, so I can just click that. So it, it respects whatever axis you have active. So again, if I wanted all three of them, I can just push it off into space and just make sure I have the center handle active. And I can just click and you'll see it snaps. Uh, right away with that axis or all three axis handles at the same time. You can also rotate the manipulator. I'm going to show you that uh, in a little bit. But you can see again, you can arbitrarily move it anywhere you want along this the mesh by just clicking once. You actually notice when you click with your left mouse button, it actually snaps right to the to the actual center of that component. So if I left click, of course, the center of a vertice is uh, not really relevant. But if you let's say click on this edge here or on the bottom of this edge, you'll see it snaps to the the middle. Uh, same with the face. So it's by left clicking you're just going to get the center of that component. Uh, and then you can just move it anywhere you want from there. Or you can hold shift and you can see that you can uh, snap anywhere along that component. So here I'm just sliding it along this surface uh, just by holding shift and it, it'll kind of make sure you can't pull it off that surface. Uh, and then you can get it uh, a little bit uh, more precise if, you're, if there's a particular spot you want it to be. So for example, I have it here. If I wanted to now rotate my, the selected edge along that new uh, coordinate space, then I can just enter the or exit the custom pivot tool by pressing the move tool or, or entering the rotate tool. And now I can, you can see I can rotate it along that uh, new axis. So going back into the custom pivot tool, uh, you'll notice that you can also, as I mentioned, shift drag to slide it. Uh, I'm going to actually uh, reset it. So it's back to the original uh, position, which would have been the center of the selected component. And uh, I was able to do that by holding, or actually just by left clicking in this uh, dead space. So when you're over a component, you're going to snap to it. If you left click anywhere in the uh, empty space or dead space, you're going to actually reset it back to its original position. If you, uh, let me snap it here. And now I'm going to rotate it like this. And you notice that if I left click again, you'll notice that it reset its position, but its orientation is still left to where it used to be. And now if I wanted to uh, uh, reset its orientation, I hold control. So control is used within the custom manipulator tool to manage uh, rotations. So again, I'm going to uh, click again here. And this time I'm going to activate the X handle and I'm going to hold control and click on this axis. You notice now I'm not snapping to its snapping its position. Uh, but I'm orienting the, the manipulator. So now it's pointing directly at the component that I, that I uh, snapped to or I selected or I clicked. Uh, so you can actually specify whatever axis you want. So if I wanted my Z axis to actually snap to or aim to this component, I can do that. Or I can aim it to a specific vertice or vertex uh, point um, or any, any of which axis I prefer. So I'm going to go back to the X axis and rotate that that way. And then I can, of course, arbitrarily finesse this any which direction I want. So a lot of control there. By holding control you can orient the actual axis handle. Um, and I'm going to control click again to reset uh, the orientation. And if I hold control shift and left click in that space I'm going to orient or reset the orientation and also reset the position. So again a lot to remember there. Left click will just snap uh, to the center of the component. Um, you can also click drag uh, to get it to work. Um, or if you hold shift, you'll snap to anywhere along that surface. Uh, and then again, reset 
would work with either control, control shift, or, sh or just left clicking by itself. So again, lots to remember there. Um, I'll I'll document all this in the uh, the YouTube or the actual description, so you have a, a listing of all the actual hotkey combinations. Um, one other thing, so I'm going to show you some examples of how this is all useful. Uh, but what I want to also show you is that when you go into custom pivot tool, your coordinate space is going to switch from what it would have been normally, which is default to world, to custom. So now your your actual manipulator is going to sit there and stay there for as long as you're in this custom world, uh, com component space. If you want to exit back out so that, in other words, if I actually change my selection, you'll notice that manipulator is not moving anywhere. It's staying right where I had set it within the custom pivot tool. If I actually go back to world space and uh, select anything you notice it automatically snaps to the center of that selection so if I want to go back to custom to, to or go back to where I previously set it I just switch to custom and I'm right there and again if I want to manipulate it or modify it even further I just go into the custom pivot tool by clicking the button or pressing uh, insert or D or holding down the D key the D key is a little bit different than the insert key and that is if I hold D and uh, left click you'll notice I can just snap right to any component and then by let, letting go of D I'm back to the transform tool so D and insert are slightly different in their in their workflows and um, so one thing I want to sort of show you is that with the custom manipulator I want to let's say I wanted to straighten out this uh, this edge so you'll see that if I pull this edge up and in this view you'll see that it's let's say I wanted that to be perfectly straight you'll notice that it's uh, it's not going to be completely easy to do if I uh, try to do it uh, just by eyeballing it. But if I uh, use the custom pivot tool, I can do it where it's going to be uh, pretty much perfect, at least flat. And so there's a, several ways of doing this, but what I'm going to do is actually uh, go back into the custom pivot tool and actually reset it. And I'm going to snap it to this component, and I'm going to activate that handle. Uh, control, click on this to aim it, so you'll see that... Uh, if I zoom out far enough, you can see that that line is perfectly flat from that from that edge to that edge. And now, uh, what I can do now is go to the scale tool and scale it. And you'll see that if I scale it far enough, you'll see now this face is perfectly flat. And so you can do this with one edge or multiple edges. If we had multiple edges in there, we could have done that uh, where it would flatten out all of them. But one other thing you'll notice is that it it pushed it uh, in the two directions so it pushed it up and also pushed it along the x-axis so we just wanted to uh, or let's just say for example we wanted to I'm going to undo this and just have it sort of like what I had before where it just kind of pushed it up straight so you can do this even with the custom manipulator tool and you can do that just by uh, activating that handle uh, within the move tool or actually any of the uh, transform tools and just say lock selected now if I go back to the custom manipulator tool and I, uh, what, what that does is when you select and create lock selected, I'm going to go back to that tool. It no longer allows me to move that component along that axis. If I drag this one, you'll see that I can move it up, but it's not pushing it uh, along the X axis. So uh, what ends up happening now is if I go back to the custom coordinate space and I am in the scale tool, I can now scale it. And I can just continue to scale until it completely flattens out. And you notice now while I scale it, it's no longer uh, pushing it along the other axis handles or axis direction. So it's just along the one axis. So the combination of using the custom pivot tool with all the different variations of the modifier keys uh, plus the lock, lock, vertex locking feature uh, allows you to use custom pivot to not only uh, move and rotate, uh, but you can also use it to scale things, to kind of taut things, uh, straighten things out, uh, just a variety of different features and it's can be quite powerful, especially as i shown with the vertex locking. Uh, that should cover it. And again, I'll try to list a description of all the different hockey combinations uh, in the description.